What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and today, my friends, I'm looking at putting together a double upload, live streaming, talking about FUT champions, and I want to start off with a tutorial covering an amazing intangible that I don't see used nearly enough, especially if you're trying to beat high pressure opponents. It's all about setting it up, and anyone on the pitch is capable. We're talking about the dummy. If you enjoy it, drop a thumbs up. I'm always looking at those comments down below if you have questions. Talk to me. If you have anything you want to see done ASAP, ASAP in terms of tips, tutorials, and also let me know your FE2 Champs record, but let's get into this. Quick side note, if you need cheap codes, games, pre-orders, head on over to G2A, use Dirty at checkout, get that discount. Everything is down below in the description. Let's begin with the controls because if you don't know how to execute the dummy, I can't help you with scenarios and situations if you don't know the basics. And it's relatively simple and it's universal. Anyone and everyone on the pitch, even your goalkeeper, can execute the dummy. And you're going to be holding the RB bumper or the R1 trigger, just depending on platform. I use the Xbox and the PlayStation while you're receiving a pass. And as you see here, this is our first freeze frame breakdown. We've got to talk about some things because there's more depth that goes into the dummy than face value. And if you play any heavy wing formation, a 4-4-2, a 4-3-3, Please add this into your arsenal because it's simple and it will allow you to do more with your gameplay because you're using the wings so heavily that people are getting used to your through balls, your threaded through balls, your passing to your left winger and your right winger and you can kind of bait them and you can start to be a little bit more deceptive and anytime you want to include skills or you get to a higher level of gameplay, you got to have deception. And some people are able to do that with simplicity with their passing where maybe they're really good with the tiki taka and their pass and move and that allows them to get away as a form of deception where they don't necessarily have a bunch of skills in their game. I want you to watch the defender here and with the player that's going to be receiving this pass, you're going to step forward. And what that does when you step forward, it makes the opposing uh, defenders believe that you could be passing to the inside, that you might turn very quickly, but that not they're not thinking that you're going to let it roll in behind. And what happens is they often step. You see this? They step across and that's where you open up all the space. And that's another thing that I want to talk about. When we're looking at the dummy, one of the requirements uh, is that you need space and we're gonna I'm gonna show you this in full speed the same example I just want to make sure that nothing got lost in the sauce or, or lost in translation where due to me having so many freeze frames you didn't see the small step that makes and breaks and wake and bake and all the things that rhyme it makes this all possible you can't do this if you don't upsell it uh, it's kinda like well maybe this won't be a good example but when you go to a car dealership they're going to, to have all these different vehicles, right? The dummy's in the game. We already have the dummy. But then you want to upsell it. You got to let people know, oh, this thing got windows that talk to you. What? Talking windows? Maybe that is a poor example. But the point I'm making is that it's been around in FIFA for a long time, and it's all about how you utilize it, how you set it up. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. And it's the beauty of deception here. Another example, right down the wing, um, almost identical, just a little bit of a different area on the pitch, but still down that wing. And because you have that space, you can let it go and you can make something happen. We get a bit of good fortune, uh, you know, after a Chinese food meal, you get the fortune cookie. All right. Uh, once again, off base, but a little bit of good fortune. Welcome to FIFA 17. We tap it home. And in the last example, I'm not saying I recommend this in the defense, but this is what happened. And it came to me instinctively. I make a pass out of the back. It's kind of risky. I see that the oncoming attacker is playing very aggressive. I'm like, oh, shoot. But I see the space in behind. I'm going to let it roll. I'm hitting that dummy. It's just another situation, another scenario, another example that I can kind of give to you guys. And you can make what you wish uh, to make with that example. I just wanted to showcase more than just the couple down the wings. If you've seen that once before, you've seen it twice, maybe you didn't want to see it three times. So I wanted to show you a little bit of a different look. And in this case, it turns out being a great offensive attack. We build up, so the dummy that kept the play moving out of the back, 45th minute, nil nil, not anymore. And if you're playing a lot with FUT champs, it's always good to have little extra things you could throw into the mix. But if you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new, I'm happy to have you. Get in the comments down below.